Located in Western Africa, over 11,000 kilometers from China, the Republic of the Congo is one of the continent's least developed countries. In the western suburb of its capital, Brazzaville, stands the China Republic of Congo Friendship Hospital, which was built with Chinese assistance. Over the past decade, it has become one of the most popular hospitals in the country. Today, for example, Brazzaville, the hospital of the Sino-Congolese is reputed in the domain of the Ophthalmologie. And so, it's a cooperation very fructuous. Et les collègues chinois viennent régulièrement chaque année et nous apportent un appui inestimable. Situated along the equator, the Republic of the Congo is exposed to high levels of ultraviolet radiation, leading to a high prevalence of eye diseases among the local people. However, there are very few local doctors capable of performing eye surgery. Many patients remain untreated and go blind, unable to work. Martina is one of the many patients suffering from eye disease, and this is her second eye surgery at the hospital. In 2018, with the support of a China cooperation mechanism for hospitals, an ophthalmology center was established in the China Republic of Congo Friendship Hospital. It quickly became the busiest department in the hospital. Many patients have come here to seek treatment. 2013, plus exactement, en présence des deux chefs d'État, le président Xi Jinping, le président Denis Sassou Nguesso de la République du Congo. Et aujourd'hui, ça fait exactement 10 ans. Before the construction of the hospital, the Mfilu region, with a population of over 100,000, had only a few small clinics and a lack of medical resources was a common problem. On March 30th, 2013, President Xi Jinping attended the ribbon-cutting ceremony of the China Republic of Congo Friendship Hospital, together with President of the Republic of Congo, Denis Sasso Nguesso. The two presidents cut the ribbon marking the completion of the hospital, and in accordance with local customs, pinned the pieces of ribbon on each other. Here, President Xi also met the Chinese medical workers who were helping the local area. Wow,这个是二零一一年到二零一三年参加了这个原刚果部医疗队，当时担任呃医疗队的总队长。习主席亲切地问候了我们大家，并同大家一一握手。习主席呃问了我们，你来自哪里呀？生活习惯吗？我
因救治不及时而发展为慢性病的情况，在这里非常普遍。At the Bangui Friendship Hospital, the department of the Chinese medical team is called the China Corridor. The local infrastructure is insufficient. Water and electricity cuts are common, and during the rainy season, water may seep into the clinic rooms. 之所以想来援非，我想离不开我成长环境的熏陶。呃，我的爷爷奶奶都参加过抗美援朝。当我想家的时候，我就给家人打一个视频电话。听以前袁飞的老前辈说，他们那个时候一个月只能打几分钟的电话。跟他们相比，我觉得我们现在特别幸福。Dr. Guo Jianwei from the clinical laboratory has a nine-year-old son who wrote an essay titled "My Dream." In it, he expressed his hope to become a doctor when he grows up, to go to Africa to provide aid like his father and to help more people. 员外医疗是“带一路”建设的重要组成部分。作为员外的一员，嗯，我非常自豪。二零二三年也是习近平总书记提出“不畏艰苦，甘于奉献，救死扶伤，待吾将”，中国医疗队精神的十周年。所以我们决定给习总书记写一封信，向习总书记报告我们的员外工作取得的成果和感悟。很快，总书记给我们回信了。President Xi Jinping replied in his letter that the Chinese people love peace and cherish life, and foreign medical aid is a vivid embodiment of this. He encouraged the Chinese medical team members to benefit the local people with benevolence and skilled medical techniques, to tell the Chinese story through practical actions, and to make even greater contributions to the construction of a global community of health for all. Over the past ten years. China has sent more than 6,000 medical personnel to 58 countries, helping over 22 million people, and conducting nearly a thousand visits to clinics, giving free medical consultations. The seeds of foreign aid have been sown from generation to generation. Some members have served abroad for seven terms, totaling 14 years, and in one big family, four members have served in medical teams abroad. Some have written a chapter of friendship between the two countries with their lives, and have been laid to rest in these foreign lands. Time and again, under challenging conditions, they have become known as those who create miracles and are beloved in these local areas. Xi Jinping, the President, proposed to build a collective medical and health community. Our country's medical aid work has not reached a new stage of development. Over the past ten years, it has helped many Chinese patients greatly. 医疗服务的能力，留下了一支带不走的医疗队。我们在全球三十多个国家开展高明型、爱心型、微笑型等白内障、心脏病、唇腭裂等小而美的义诊活动，帮助万余名患者重见光明，重获新生，重战微笑，提升了受援国民众的获得感。At this very moment, Chinese medical teams are diligently working at 115 medical sites in 56 countries around the world. 不畏艰苦，甘于奉献，救死扶伤，大爱无疆。